Hi, I'm Shane Melach from imimpact.com and welcome to this supplemental video to my SEO Link Robot review. And this is what the software looks like once you start it up. And let me just give you a quick tour of this software. So first of all, the basic settings, you can set it up to either show you the browser as it's running, you know, when it's doing the submissions to build backlinks to show you the browser and show you the sites it's going to and automatically clicking through or you can run them minimized which uh, makes it more suitable to have it running in the background while you're doing something else. You can uh, have it run anything between 1 and 10 submissions at any at the same time whenever it's doing submissions and you can link it up to uh, the best spinner if you have a, uh, an account with the best spinner. Then of course there are also uh, capture settings so you can either use decapture or death by capture to uh, do the automatic um, capture solving for you. And then we've basically got the account creator and various submission tools. So you see there's uh, oh there's also an inbuilt article spinner, which is fairly simple. So if you don't have the best spinner, you can use this one. Um, but then you have uh, the Web 2.0 poster, which posts the free blogs, the Web 2.0 linker, which I'm going to uh, explain in just a bit. Article poster posts to article directories, press release, submitter, bookmarking, uh, RSS submitter, and then you've got an indexing and site pinging option. So let's just get started with the account creator first of all. You open the account creator and you can create a, a new profile if you haven't done so yet and then you can um, populate these fields with random data, right? Um, and you do that and you set up an email account. It doesn't do any automatic email account creation for you so you'll have to set up an email account yourself, either a free email account um, you know like Gmail or live.com or whatever or um, an email on your own host. And once you've got that done, you can start uh, with the account creation. And actually, let's just do that. Let me just uh, fill in these fields and then I'll show you the account creation process. So in here in the account creator, we have social bookmarking accounts and RSS accounts. And I'm just gonna go select all. I've already set up and tested the email address so I can just select all and go create accounts. Uh, this is what the browser looks like if you choose to display it and you can see it's filling out this info and uh, automatically solving the capture and it goes through the list like this and comes back as soon as it's finished with all of the signups. All right, once it's done, you get this little report here and you can see the accounts it created and as usual, not all of the account creations are successful. And then you can tell it to go and verify the emails so it can go through your email account and automatically uh, click through all of the uh, confirmation links in your emails. And then we're done with that as well and I set it to delete the emails automatically. And so now we've set up this set of accounts um, and verified the emails. And I'm gonna go out of this here and the same goes for the article directories, the web 2.0 directories. Let's just call one of these up. You have the accounts here and you have the, the same process. You can select the accounts, tell it to go and create the accounts and it will then go through and um, uh, create all of the accounts and then you can have it verify the emails and uh, that's how you basically set up all of the accounts within SEO Link Robot. Back in the main menu, if you look at these uh, various modules, most of them do exactly what you'd expect them to do. So you have your uh, article submitter, press release submitter, bookmark submitter, RSS feed submitter, and all of these work exactly like you'd like you'd think. You put in your content, and then SEO Link Robot goes and does automatic submissions for you, uh, much like you may or already know them from uh, other tools as well. There are a few unique features, however, in the Web 2.0 poster and with this indexing module. So let me just show you a few of those. So with the Web 2.0 poster, if I open this one up, you have your typical uh, tabs where you add your content and then you have a list of uh, sites, a list of Web 2.0 properties that SEO Link Robot can submit to. Uh, then you put your article in here and <clears throat> then there's this um, this uh, basically post creation or submission tab here. Now in the spinnable content, let me just add some gibberish content here because I need something to, to link to. If I select some text here, I can right click and then I can insert a last link or a random link tag. I'm gonna insert this last link tag. And what this will do is within the text, so this would be my article here, right? I can post in my, my spinnable article here and I can select any part of the article that I want to uh, add a last link tag to. Now what this will do is it will link from 
the current post to the last post that was made. So let me quickly illustrate what, what this means. With your standard submission process that you get with the Web 2.0 poster and basically any other kind of automatic submissions, is what you get is something like this. You have your main site that you want to get backlinks to and then the various submissions are made to these free blogs and you get backlinks to this main site. Now with the last link tag here's what happens. You have the same basic setup. You create all of these posts linking back to the main URL but in addition to that uh, SEO Link Robot will also remember the URL that was created with the last post you made and link from the second to the first one, from the third to the second one and so on. So what it's effectively doing here is it's building an open link wheel and you can either build one huge open link wheel using all of the Web 2.0 properties available in SEO Link Robot or you can also if you choose uh, make multiple smaller link wheels by just selecting a few of the available Web 2.0 properties. So that's a pretty interesting feature in the Web 2.0 poster and if I go back out here then there's the Web 2.0 linker which is similar but different I guess. Uh, it uses the same list of websites, it uses the same, uh, it's the same target list of, of websites that SEO Link Robot can submit to and you also input your spinnable article but in this case what it does is it creates a very specific network. It, it, it creates a network using five out of these total um, available properties. Out of five of them it builds a network that very specifically looks like this. So it's also kind of a link wheel type setup um, and the interesting thing about this is that you can also have these um, these new posts it makes, you can have those bookmarked and you can do RSS submissions. What this means is, uh, what you're looking at here is basically what's often referred to as a mini net, which is a backlink setup that pushes a lot of link juice from all of these properties into one particular site. And this site could be your own main website you want to build backlinks to, or it could also be uh, part of a larger link network. So for example, it would be possible with SEO Link Robot to first create a big link wheel using the Web 2.0 poster, and then using this module to create a mini net around each of the spokes in the link wheel. So you could create a pretty impressive and large link network uh, using just the automation tools in SEO Link Robot. And I think this is probably the most uh, unique thing about it. The thing that really sets it apart from other submission software is this automated mini net building function. All right, then finally, let's have a quick look at the indexer. And this works uh, by making use of stats websites. So there are various websites um, like um, uh, Quantcast, CubeStat, uh, StatBrain. Those are some of the ones that you might have heard of. But as you can see, there are tons of them. Um, and all, all that these sites do is you can plug in your own uh, URL and it will give you kind of a, estimates. So it will give you like traffic estimates, value estimates and so on of your website. And this will also usually include some kind of backlink or another. Now these backlinks aren't very uh, valuable in terms of getting your sites ranked, but if you do these submissions it can get your it can get a new website ranked very very quickly. And in addition to that you can also you can do these submissions and um, get them pinged as well. So this is something that you can use to get a new website indexed very, very quickly. The only downside is that this only works for root domains. It only works for root domains of a new website and not for any kind of link, for an inner page link. So that's the indexer, which is also part of SEO Link Robot. And I think that concludes our little tour of this uh, backlink building tool. If you have any questions or if you want to see the full details and full review, head on over to imimpact.com where you can find my full review of SEO Link Robot.